हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कमल झमनानी डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट एट अभिरित स्पेशलिटी क्लिनिक इन सिकंदराबाद तेलंगाना टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस एंड बस्ट फ्यू ऑफ द मिथ्स एसोसिएटेड विद अ वेरी कॉमन डर्मेटोलॉजिकल कंडीशन एंड येस दैट इज विटिलाइगो विटिलाइगो रेफर्स टू द वाइट पैचेस that some individuals end up with unfortunately and they can be quite a uh, annoying thing and the person loses lot of self confidence in the process and over the years over the ages there have been so many myths associated with vitiligo that we tend to believe many of them and uh, so let's discuss few of the myths and uh, associated with vitiligo and i am here to help break those myths and explain to you the science behind them one of the commonest things the patients complain is one person has vitiligo and coming in contact with that person will also uh, give rise to vitiligo to me that is vitiligo is contagious now i would like to clearly state that see contagious things are usually infections vitiligo is not an infection it is an immune mediated condition wherein the melanocytes or the pigment producing cells are not able to function well so there is absolutely no chance that being in contact with the vitiligo patient can transmit the vitiligo to another person the other things that come uh, that patients usually ask is is it totally curable so well i would say it is treatable so the difference between the word curable and treatable is like how infections can get totally cured by using antibiotics or antifungals they can get cured but here we are able to treat them thereby we are able to reduce or arrest their progression we are able to improve the patches but if you ask me is it 100% curable i mean that the person will never ever get vitiligo again well that's a tricky question it's difficult now so that that way i would say it's not curable but it's treatable and not not just with allopathy it is not totally curable even with the other forms of uh, medications like homeopathy and ayurveda and all yes there are definite treatments to treat it yeah. then uh, there is a common myth that vitiligo happens only in dark skinned individuals so but again this is a very common myth it's only that in dark skinned individuals it's more noticeable when compared to the those with fair skin but that doesn't mean that it has a predilection for the involvement of dark skin individuals so that's again a co- very common myth the other thing very commonly they say that vitiligo happens after eating certain food product of dark skin individuals so that's again a co- very common myth the other thing very commonly they say that vitiligo happens after eating certain food products like according to the tra- traditional ways of eating it is said that anything which is quite sour or consuming milk on a regular basis or after drinking milk consuming certain food items and all that makes a per- person more likely to get vitiligo again that's of questionable value because there is no such scientific evidence to prove any association with diet and vitiligo because it's an autoimmune condition it's something to do with your immune system yeah then uh, there have been other uh, uh, like things like vitiligo is a curse it is said that vitiligo is like a punishment for wrong doing again these things are like a traditional folklore wherein it was thought that vitiligo is happens to individuals who commit a sin and it is god's way of punishing them again that's absolutely a myth and there is no scientific basis it is uh, like not at all related to any of those it's a, it's a it's pure science that when a person has got immunity disorder that kind of impacts their Im- melanocyte function and that in turn leads to the development of these white patches then quite often vitiligo patients are looked down upon they are considered to be less in terms of physical and mental strength so that's a very very wrong doing and there is absolutely no connection between the mental well being physical well being and vitiligo 
In fact, many of the vitiligo patients excel in their respective fields. They are very good in both mental capabilities. They are extremely good in physical capabilities too. So it's absolutely wrong to doubt their physical and mental capabilities. Then there is also certain theories that say sun damage causes vitiligo. Again, not at all. It is in fact uh, vitiligo patients are more prone to uh, get getting sun damaged because this pigment which we have on our skin acts as a protective shield against the sun. So uh, vitiligo patients unfortunately don't have that protective shield. So that's the reason why uh, they they can get easily suntanned. Okay. Thank you.